this Bostonian band has blazed its own trail in the ska scene. Hi, I'm your host Stephanie and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're speaking to David of Big D and the Kids Table. together for 15 years oh, wait, or maybe more than years. that I think it's 14 14 almost 15 years <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. what keeps you guys going day in and day out I think the I think we've been able to do it because we are really truly friends before we started a band we only started a band because we weren't old enough to go out to bars and we were really limited in the amount of parties that we were invited to we just are fully intoxicated and addicted to playing music together I think when we spend small amounts of time apart we have withdrawal and we're like, how are you doing? Are you okay? So we're just we're good friends. So what's wrong, Does the rest of the world know there ain't no stop when it's all? Play the music louder, dance a little smoother. Yeah. And how would you describe the band's evolution from all this time? I would say this last record that just got released, in our opinion, is the most like our first record, Shop by Lammy, that was released in 1996. <laughs> and in between the, I think we started to kind of get a little punky and aggressive because we started when we were teenagers so all our music was really happy and carefree and just kind of like yay but then when we got into our mid-twenties I think we started doing that classic thing when you're like the world is weird you know like why is the world acting like this and so we were like rah 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 but then we realized that we were complaining a little too much we were moaning a little so we went back to just being carefree Wings from girls in other nations Kevin Lyman has actually described Big D and the Kids Table as relevant for every one of the years that you guys have been in existence. Yeah. So what do you think about that? Well, you know, it's other than being completely psyched and honored he said that and, you know, throw your shoulders back, I agree with him. Because <laughs> um, we go on these tours and some band will start and they'll be God's gift to the world and everyone will be so excited, but then crash and burn two months later they just kind of fizzle away. We've always been here and we've always been doing our thing but we've never over illuminated. So I know that the roots of sort of ska music, reggae music, it comes from Jamaica so I was wondering you know do you think that culture is still relevant today to, especially to stuff that you guys make? So I only kind of know gritty, hanging out with gritty London you know, post specials kind of ska influenced people. And I think that mentality really goes well with New England Boston R mentality. And it's kind of like cold weather, kind of have a chip on your shoulder, kind of want to make the best of what you got, trying to stay positive and kind of like uh, working so many hours life. That culture is pretty badass, but I think it's badass because I'm part of it. You know? <laughs> you know? Play the music louder, dance a little 